now we're going to be focusing on this one. And I'm going to show you a flower. So for the flower, I'm going to be using me a secret way. And I'm going to do a little accent color with this pink color from Valentino and the green for Valentino. So let's begin. First thing first, I'm going to put some popcorn on top of this because you're going to work on top of the nail. I'm just going to end down. Tacky, top to it, and I'm gonna stir that. Okay. I'm just gonna get the colors ready. Uh, what I'm using for the 3D art is a brush that actually. Uh, I think a student gave this to me, but it was on Amazon. So it's Pure Color Number 5 Nail Art Brush. I found that it does wonder for doing 3D. And like I said, I believe she got it on Amazon. So once again, we're going to work with a very dry bead. I'm going to do a nice, a simple side flower. I'm going to wet my brush. I'm going to grab a nice bowl. A little bigger. Okay, let's put this down. Press out. There we go. And just bring it in. I'm going to press it out with the belly so you create some dents with your petals. And then you can give it a little smoosh of shape if you want. I'm going to do another one here. And again, pressing down, flatten it, and just flatten it out. I'm kind of creating some type of curve with my petals. Third one, and put right here. And the more you press with your brush, it's going to create these lines like you really see on flowers. And when it's nice and wet, it can poke up. I'm going to do one more. Ooh, too big for that little area. Okay. One more here. I don't want to press this one too much. I don't want it to fall too much out the side of the nail. And what I'll do is actually even flip it up and press out so it kind of curves. You don't want it to irritate the client. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is go in with a little bit of pink, very wet very wet, very lightly, and just put a little bit in the center and kind of just paint the petals. Give it a little peekaboo of color, nothing too much. And I'll do that on each one. So remember flowers aren't perfect, no two petals look the same. very sporadic so you can't overthink it you just work very loose some come out darker or more pigmented than others so be it give it a little color give it a little and lastly, I'm going to go in with the same concept to create a little leaf. So I'm going to 
it press down. This time I'm just gonna flare it out. I'm gonna come down in the center and push it in. We need a little bit more acrylic. There's nothing wrong with putting a little bit more. I'm going to do a couple of leaves. And then the leaves come in to a point, the only difference. I'll do one more little teeny tiny one in the center of those. Take this new secret green tea color. It's just a little bit darker. The same concept that we did with the flowers. I'm just gonna use this to kind of give me a little bit of depth. Remember, leaves are one color. So you want to place the darker color in the crevices. So it's gonna create kind of a shadow. It's gonna give it some depth. Something you don't really notice, but it's a small little detail. Okay, so she's done. Let that dry a little bit. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of white. And with my daughter tool, the small side. I'm going to just create a little bit of cascading. to cure, but before I do that, no flower is complete without a little bling. So, I'm going to go on my top coat and just place a little bit of top coat right in the center of that flower. And I'm going to take a big stone, medium sized stone. Place that in the center. And I'm gonna take a couple of little baby stones and put that around it. Okay. I'm gonna flash through that. I got this is glow in the dark. So the leaves will glow. Make sure that we can cap these stones off. I'm gonna go ahead and just go around. If your client wanted to have a shiny flower, you can go ahead and cover the whole thing with top coat. I like to leave the flower matte. I feel like it looks more natural and pretty that way. So I'm going to put top coat everywhere, but I'm just going to make sure, especially on the sides, I get a clump of it on the stone so I don't lose and leave the petals in. Let me clear that again. 3D flower. Stay tuned tomorrow as we'll continue the nail art series. 
hope you subscribe. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Bye.